but we're not done. It's spirits. All right. Uh, we have a vial. We've got a lord. Our opponent says, GL, have fun. Uh, and we're in the draw. So let's keep this. Let's keep this. We got a vial. We got a vial. Opponent skips their draw step. Cavern of Souls, enter naming elementals. Okay. How do we fare against elementals? Uh, let's play out our Sea Chrome Coast and copy our opponent. <laughs> I see your vial and I raise you nothing. I just also have a vial. Mountain. This will be an interesting one. This will be an interesting one. Uh, Kaigai played this deck a while back. If I remember, I'll link his deck right here somewhere. Is up up there somewhere. Um, yeah. He did okay with it, if I remember. Hallowed Fountain. Uh, we're getting a lot of lands, which is not ideal. Let's play out our selfless, selfless spirit here. We're gonna say go. We're gonna say go. What are violing in their one drop? Birds of Paradise. That's not an elemental. Taking up the vial. So you have all the mana they could ever want forever. I think the trick is going to be they may out card advantage us at some point here if they get the right elementals in play which would be unfortunate oh okay and we've got a thunderkin awakener nothing in the bin though Choose zero blockers. Okay. Problem is, Spell Queller not great against a fellow Vile deck. You'd use a two drop here, would be okay. It's not a two drop. Well, we're gonna get out Silent Clearing. I think we pass the turn. Not in the best of shapes here. We can flash in Spell Queller though. Or we can crank the Silent Clearing if they don't do, if they don't play anything. Hope that we draw a two drop. Plays the Wooded Foothills. Okay. Come on, play Coco. I will take the one. Viling in. It's a lord. It is a lord. Okay. Sure, so we take two instead. Alright. Well, I guess... Hmm. If we crack this and then they Coco, that's bad for us, but I don't... I don't know what else we do here. Hey, look at that! I mean, if they have a bolt, this is also sad. Hey, no bolt. No bolt. Alright, so we'll take this up to three. Mausoleum Wanderer. So do we play Wanderer, or do we play... I think we gotta play Drog Skull Captain here, right? Keep up Spell Queller. Uh, and I think we're attacking. They can block with the birds, obviously. Yeah. 
It's fine. We're eventually gonna have to get through those birds, so. No real risk there for us, I don't think. Cracks their foothills. Is this the Coco? No. Okay. Okay. Secret Foundry. Tapped. Did they tick up their vial? And this is a different list than Kai Guy ran. Questions, do we block? I don't think so. I think we can take two and be alright. I don't want to get blown out by like a second lord or something. I guess we're taking five. Fast Vandal. Mm. So we're gonna exile or vile? Yeah, well, I guess we counter that. Queller is protected from Bolt at the moment. But now our captain is not, so. Where's that? They can't attack here either. We have one card in hand. If there's another Lord, we're still okay. They're also tapped out. Interesting that they're doing this second main because it gains haste. Nothing we can do about that. Puts an Omnath down. Of course they get a land. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we need Path now. What says they... Oh! What says they messed up their... I don't... Okay. What says they messed up their sequencing? Um, which is, uh, true, I guess, uh, and also, I don't know that they necessarily lost because of that, but, you know, whatever, we'll, we'll take it, I guess. Um, alright, Aether Gust, maybe? Okay, so we definitely want Path, I think we want Remorseful Cleric, I don't know if we want Rest in Peace, maybe we want Rest in Peace. Maybe Ether Gas. What is bad? What is bad here? Maybe go down to Shackle Geist, a Spectral Sailor or two. Glass Pool? Do we need the Aether Gas? They have a lot of red and green permanents. I go down another glass pool. Try it like that. I mean, I don't know actually how that game ended. Really, uh, they had an Omneth on the board. I, I, I get, I get rage scooping. I do, I do. It's, it sucks. Uh, and also, uh, I don't know that they were dead by any means. Um, so do we keep this hand? We have two mana. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I'm gonna keep it. We don't have a vial, which is unfortunate, especially if our opponent has a vial. Um, but we just we have a handful of good stuff that just seems too good to pass up. Stomping ground. And a bird. Okay, so not a vial, but basically a vial. We can also draw into a vial. No, we draw an ether gust. Uh island and a go. is gonna be next turn though i don't know i guess next turn we can we can hold up rattle chains and then have ethic us back up in case we need to stop something crazy from happening voice of resurgence is annoying actually 
Uh, actually, that's really annoying. Searches for Risen Reef. Okay. Put it off to you. Pretty good start here. Does Voice of Resurgence change our plans? <laughs> That's so good. We need our paths right now. Right now. I I don't know. I uh, so we could just play Selfless Spirit. Next turn, play. Oh, that messes everything up. I think I think we're just gonna have to deal with it and hope that we can. I don't know. I don't even know. Ancient Ziggurat. For the Risen Reef. Uh, I guess we could have either gusted that. And just put it at the top. I don't know. Getting in with the 1-1. One, one. Nothing else? Okay, they're gonna go with that too. If we flash in, kill this, and they have two elementals. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about about this one already. Uh, I don't like being, you know, defeatist or whatever, but... Uh, this Voice of Resurgence is actually just going to kill us. Especially with Risen Reef. To go on top of it. Okay. Yeah, always yield. Yeah, but he's gonna choose himself. I just, I don't know if we can raise five fives. We can actually, so Aethergust is a removal spell. <laughs> um, all right, uh, pass the turn. I guess we could have attacked there just to get rid of the bird. Assume they would have blocked. I don't know. This voice of resurgence is just gonna kill us straight up, though. We needed we needed to find a path many turns ago. Yeah, we gotta quell that. This will probably just end up getting well. It can't get bolted this turn. We're also giving our opponent a six-six. So that's unfortunate. Can't get bolted because neither of these can tap for. Oh, they've they have, have birds though, so never mind. Yeah, we definitely should have attacked last turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the spite bellow. Uh, okay. We're gonna concede this one and go to game three. <laughs> oh, that voice was awful, awful for us. Um, did we bring in anything else? Is Oriac Champion any good in this matchup? They do have some red stuff. They have creatures. I, I don't know if it's good enough to bring in slash like what's good enough to cut. What if we cut... I'm going to cut a Phantasmal image for Oriok Champion. And... Um, Jackal guys might come in handy. Actually, these, these Mausoleum Wanderers can also... I mean... Yeah, we'll run a couple. I don't know, just for some extra life gain, just to, to uh, shore us up if things get out of hand. And we have one. We have Mausoleum Wanderer into Supreme Phantom. And we have a path, so I'm definitely keeping this one. We don't have Vile, but uh, I think we're okay with that. Flood Strand, crack it. We are going to have to take a little bit of pain here. So we need to get our Hollowed Fountains. 
Uh, unless we draw some other land source. Question is going to be, do we play out the Auric Champion this next turn, or do we wait? I think maybe we play it next turn just to get the value off of it. Drog Skull. We're going to need another land for that. Let's go to combat. Not going to miss an attack here. We could be attacking in for three... Which they probably wouldn't have blocked, but I think I think it's better that we go and get. Can we just get a planes here? So we're not taking as much damage. That's probably fine. We don't have like anything that's double blue. We did bring this in to gain life for us, so. Cavern of Souls. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. Okay. Yes, and yield. Alright, so another land here would not be bad. I think we just get out Supreme Phantom here. We do really need... Oops. We do need the land pretty bad. Hoping that... Um, hoping that uh, Rare Champion gaining us a little bit of life here and there will just bring the combat math into our favor. Especially if we can draw another land for another lord would be ideal. This can also block some things for free, which is nice. Wooded foothills. Cracks wooded foothills. Feeling okay about where we're at, but this still could go wrong pretty easily. Especially if this is on on that. Now, just a second Risen Reef. Just a second Risen Reef. Okay. So our opponent's going to draw a lot of cards. Let's just yield to this. Um, will their card draw stop us from beating them down will be the question. Okay, no attacks. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I think we just play out Supreme Phantom number two. Go back up to 20, and uh, we're going to get in for 6 here. I guess they can block 4 of it if they'd like. They have enough mana, they don't need this bird, so I'm assuming they block here. Well, they don't. Interesting. Does that mean they have some way to get rid of our lords? Probably. A single bolt doesn't do it. That evoke creature certainly would. Really need that land. There's Omnomnath. 
Now our opponent is gonna do a lot of life gaining, a lot of drawing cards. Whoa, okay. Okay, they gain four life. All right, we really need to hit our third land here. Because if we don't, we're in some big trouble. If we do, we may be able to do... Let's see, the B four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Hmm. So we're going to be just short. I'm just drawing a lot of cards. Oh, now they get to add mana. Oh, no. No. Well, we needed to hit that third land. <laughs> we really needed to hit that third land. I suppose we could have held out path here, but I feel like just getting in it's got to be the better thing. Just getting down our lords. Hoping that it's enough. Maybe our opponent won't have anything to play with their eight cards in hand. Or maybe they have so many things they just don't even know what to play. They're just like, <laughs> so many options. So many options. Uh, yeah, they've drawn. Let's see, we're at 39. Uh, okay. So Vesperlark coming in, which is a flying creature, which is extra bad. Dings us for four, and <laughs> plays an either bog, because why not? Why not? Anything else, opponent? <laughs> oh, man. Begins combat. No tax, though. I mean, we're not out of it entirely here. We do have a path to discard a card. Interesting that they played the Vesper Lark. I guess it's when it leaves the battlefield. Discards a mere entity. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. That's just when it leaves the battlefield, too. It's pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Because they can. <laughs> they may be able to Alpha Strike. Us next turn. Um, is there any way? Ah, oh, man, we really needed to hit that land. We can block one thing. Oh, they have so much mana. They're gonna do a bunch of stuff. I think we have to get rid of Omnath, which means we don't play anything else this turn. Ah. Uh. Let's see, so if we play down Supreme... No, it's not even close to enough, because they gain that life. Because they can block our 4-4. Four, four. Well, that, I guess that point would be 5-5, five, five, even still. So we're only getting in for for 6. Um, so, yeah, I guess we go to combat. And then I, I don't know, I don't... They can't be running any counters, so I think we can stop on their upkeep. Man, for want of a third land here. Yeah, go get your mirror entity. Yep, yep, yep. Which might kill us, honestly. Might just kill us by... Oh, right, they get to draw so many cards. 
cards. Oh, and they get to gain four more life because of this too. Of course. Of course. So I guess I should have pathed Omnath before combat. I didn't really think about that. 100% should have done that. Or do I have to path Mirror Entity? Oh man, I'm at 20. How big can they make their stuff? Pretty big, but they only have three things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with the path mana. If they have another basic to search out. So two 11 11s. Three 11 11s. So I would just be dead. So I have to get rid of Mirror Entity? <laughs> <laughs> Leaving them their Omnath. Leaving them their Omnath. Okay. Well, I I was feeling okay for a while there. <laughs> but, you know, we're on turn five and we have two lands. Two lands. <sighs> Sometimes you piss off the magic gods and... Uh, Forever punished. <laughs> Fails to find. Uh, so all is not... <laughs> all is not lost here. I mean... So depending... Well, I don't know. It's hard to say because Omnath is probably going to gain them four life at some point in this turn. They're going to play more creatures. They have nine cards in hand. Our opponent is down to 33 cards in the library. They've done... They've drawn 14 more cards than we have. That's two full hands. So the likelihood of us winning this match begins to get smaller and smaller. Trying to cast things on their upkeep, I get it. I stopped on your upkeep, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Cast Lightning Skelemental. Well, that's pretty awful. The good news is they gotta be running low on lands, right? <laughs> Casts a second lightning. I mean, at least we're gaining life, right? Right? This is fine. <laughs> Except for we have to ditch our entire hand. Yeah, discards two cards. Two cards, and it has trample. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Plays the steam vents. Does more stuff with Omnath. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh, 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 huh. Our opponent has 15 cards. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they'll draw themselves out of guards and, uh, and we'll win that way. I, I don't, don't even know. <laughs> I don't even... Okay, sure, why not? Lightning bolt my face. Of course. Voice. I mean, voices... I mean, creatures are gaining us more life, I guess. I, don't, I, I mean, we're just totally, totally dead, right? Like, just completely, utterly dead? Uh huh. Okay, so an Oryx champion blocking the lightning skeletals does nothing. Um, because protection and trample work badly together. 
Uh, we're just blocking for silliness here. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. Opponent down to 17 cards. <laughs> down to 17 cards. Uh, we were never drawing another land, so oh, there we go. That would have been turn 6, 7, 8. Turn 8, third land. <laughs> uh, well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? We are 0 and 2 now. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if we can't uh, redeem ourselves within the next few <laughs> matches here. <laughs> or maybe Blue White Spirits just isn't cut out for the meta when we're getting beat down by uh, Elemental well, of all things. Uh, Alright, catch you in the next match. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, especially because if you're watching this, and today is Wednesday, March the 10th. It is my birthday, and we are so close to 300 subscribers, so, you know, as a little birthday present to me, if you'd like to send me all of your fetch lands, I will accept that. Uh, but if you'd like something a little smaller, a little bit more manageable, hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, we're so close to 300, and it would be a sweet birthday gift to get all the way up there. So, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching High Ground MTG with co-hosts Kai Guy and Spiny Mouse. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to click that like button, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future episodes of High Ground MTG. For even more videos, be sure to check out our playlists so that you can have the high ground.